Hey guys, it's CDP from uh, Hastings Stadium here in Guelph tonight. Uh, the Guelph Royals defeated the London Majors 7-3, to but I have a couple of guys on from the London Majors uh, team that's going to talk to us for a few minutes. I have uh, reliever Brandon, or sorry, Braden Farrington, I apologize for that, and uh, Byron uh, Reichstein on tonight. So guys, can you uh, just talk to me about the game tonight against the Guelph Royals? Thoughts? Um, Castillo pitched a really good game. I mean, he's a great starter. He set the K record this year and he just attacked the zone and threw really good off speed and, you know, had us really off balance all game. And it's tough to, you know, battle someone like that who's out competing. Yeah. And you have any thoughts on the game tonight too? Yeah. Uh, I thought it was a great pitching match of both on both sides of it. You know, from my view from the bullpen down there, uh, you know, high intensity from both sides and, you know, when one team had to come out victorious. Okay, guys, I was going to say, what are your overall thoughts on the season so far? The London Majors are now 25-10. and 10. You're in a battle for uh, top seed in the IBL with Welling, Welling uh, the Jackfish, and also the Guelph Royals, who are now 24-11 and 11 after tonight. Well, you know, it's always great to have, you know, a battle at the top. You know, it really makes you push every time you're at the park and makes you go out and just compete day in, day out, and take no days off. Okay, and your thoughts as well? Yeah. Um... You know what? Have a league that's competitive. It's great. You know, I'd rather have meaningful games at this point at the time of the season rather than just cakewalk. So, having this kind of game is uh, is good for everybody. Okay, and I was going to ask you guys also, what were your thoughts on being on the Majors IBL Championship team last year? The first time since 1975. You guys have had a lot of great teams in London over the years, but the first to win the first championship since 75. How special was that last year? Uh, it was good for the community. You know what? It's uh, it's been a long time, but everybody really chipped in, and uh, overall, everybody had a, it was a great atmosphere at the end of the game. And uh, thoughts on the uh, IBL title last year, and also being named the IBL final uh, MVP. How special was that? Oh, it's an honor. I mean, you see the guys in the past years that have won it. You know, they step up to the plate and you know come in big for their team, and just to win the IBL championship in front of the home crowd was probably the most amazing moment in my baseball career so far. I mean, hoping we can do it again this year, next, whenever, you know, hoping to do it again. Okay, and uh, I was going to ask you this. Um, how did you get into baseball, and did you have a role model and a favorite team? Uh, my favorite team growing up was St. Louis Cardinals. I mean, I played for the St. Thomas Cardinals growing up, so it kind of just fell into place there. Uh, favorite player was Jim Edmonds. You know, he was a center fielder for them, and also Albert Pujols. I mean, he was one of the best hitters of all time. Uh, getting into baseball with my parents. Uh, they both played slow pitch. My dad was a really good slow pitch player, and, you know, he's always on the ball with me whenever we went to the park to watch him and my mom play together. They played co-ed, so it kind of was just in my bloodstream. Have you been to Bush Stadium in St. Louis yet? No, that's, I'm, one, I'm hoping that I can go there soon one day. I was there in July of 2015 against San Diego. The birds won 3-1, but it was 108-degree temperature in St. Louis. That's, that's a warm one. Okay, and um, for you, how did you get into baseball? And uh, did you have a favorite team and a favorite player, favorite pitcher? Yeah, um, growing up, me you and know, my dad, he really he enjoyed baseball growing up as a kid. And then he played slow pitch. And then um, me as a child, I guess he kind of just threw me baseballs and see what would happen. Uh, when I hit college, that kind of changed. I didn't have to hit anymore, thank goodness. Nobody wanted to watch that. But uh, growing up, I don't know, I'd say... As a pitcher, I kind of idolize my game around Brett Cecil because of the glasses, curveball. That's really my, my main two, you know, pluses out there on the mound. So, you know, that's, that's who I grew up idolizing. As you guys can see, I'll wrap this up in the next minute. I'm a huge Detroit Tigers fan, and uh, one of my favorite heroes tonight finally got his name in a uh, number retired in Detroit, Lou Whitaker, number one. Him and Trammell played together for uh, 19 seasons, 1,916 games, and uh, – won a World Series in, in 1984 as well. Now, before we wrap this up, uh, I was going to say, what's your thoughts on your uh, London Majors uh, manager and owner, Roop? Roop's a great guy. I mean, you know, he really has your back whenever you step onto the field. You know, if anything doesn't go your way, he's there supporting you day in, day out. He's one of those guys that you want having your back because he's a guy that, you know, he brings everything to the table. You know, he puts his heart into everything he does. And Honestly, it's one of the best managers. Yeah, kind of second off of him there. You know, what? he he's passionate about what he wants to do. He wants to win, and you know, what? he 
kind of puts that message with the guys there and day in day out he's there and he wants to he wants to win the game and just guys briefly quickly quick thoughts on your next game to more against Wellen at 735 at Lapat Park and tell uh, tell my audience why fans in London should come out to see you guys play this year I mean you know we got a great team we put on the field every game uh, playing well is going to be an awesome game you know we're battling for the top right now so we're not going to walk into that game you know thinking it's just going to be a W we're going to go in there work hard and we're going to play some good baseball yeah um well and it's going to be a challenge you know what they're they're a good team over there but we're also a great team so it's going to be a battle every pitch and every play okay i was going to say thank you so much Braden and byron for coming on uh, live with cdp interview tonight and i'm definitely going to try to come down back to london this year for a game at labat park one of the most beautiful ballparks in ontario so again guys uh, thank you so much for doing this. I know it was a tough night, 7-3 to three to loss to Guelph, but uh, good luck to more against Wellen, and thank you so much for uh, coming on live with CDP interview. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys, and I will post all this on my social media pages.